name is Vanessa O'Connell. I'm 32 years old and I'm a hydrographic surveyor. My daily job is to basically check the depths of the harbour and to ensure the declared depths, are the, are the minimum declared depths, are safe for shipping and for shipping to come into Sydney Harbour and Botany Bay. And basically we produce charts for the pilots to bring the shipping into the harbour. And that, that is our main role. Before I started at Sydney Ports, I, I hadn't really used a boat at all or had any boating skills. I've been driving the vessel and learned about how to launch the boat, drive the boat, drive the boat with the trailer, all of that sort of thing. If we're having a field day, we'll go out, let's put the boat in the water. Um, we have an echo sounder, which measures the depths. And then we have a GPS, which gives us an accurate position. So we're getting an exact depth and then an exact position of that depth in coordinate wise at the same time. So then we then use that to chart and we show depths on a chart for navigation. So that's our daily routine. The objects are often dropped in, into the harbour, like concrete blocks. So our biggest problem is to make sure that they're clear for shipping. And, and part of that is checking the depths, but obviously with our, with our echo sounder, we have gaps between our run lines when we run a line to check depths. So we make sure that we use a side scan sonar, which takes a picture of the bottom, so we can see what's exactly down there between our run lines. So that then we can measure objects, and if it's so big and it's in the way for shipping, it's actually a problem. So we'll um, come back and get it out. The deepest position in Sydney Harbour is between the Harbour Bridge and Goat Island in main channel of the harbour. So it's about 45 metres deep and um, we have a lot of objects and things that are actually in there but because it's so deep obviously they don't affect shipping and we actually show it as foul ground on our, on our charts. Sydney Ports looks after all the movement of vessels, larger vessels, shipping vessels and they're, where, the, where they're going to berth, how they come in, the, our pilot service will actually bring the ships in and our depths are used uh, and our charts are used for that. I basically didn't know that I wanted to do surveying. I was more interested in sort of geography and cartography um, at, at school and uh, I decided I'd go out with a surveyor and see what they did. So I went out on work experience for a day and, and I thought this is great, I want to be outdoors, I can, I can do this. So at TAFE I've done an a, a associate diploma in engineering surveying. Uh, I believe now it's a diploma in, in surveying. Definitely advise people to make sure that they uh, study a bit more in mathematics at high school. I think that's been one of the problems with the, the uh, shortage of surveyors. Other than that, you need to be at least um, a little bit analytical. You, there's a lot of problem solving with surveying. Often you, you're using high-tech equipment that don't necessarily normally work together, so you need to be able to integrate them together. So a bit of computing skills. Surveying's very uh, changing with the times. So it doesn't become boring, you've always got something exciting to look forward to. I actually do this in my spare time as well, so it's, for me it's a hobby. There's such a shortage of surveyors, uh, and not just in New South Wales, but all around the country. Um, in New South Wales at the moment, they're actually getting surveyors to come over from New Zealand for some of the engineering works. Uh, for example, there's uh, good pay good, and plenty of jobs, so it's the best situation to be in. I love my job. <laughs> It's fantastic. Um, I spend my day on the harbour every day and um, yeah, I don't have a problem getting up each morning because I, I get to come to work and spend a, a beautiful day on the harbour.